What's up, everybody? Uh, star scorecard, five, cheat code 5.9C. Notice the asterisks, okay? Of the 5.9 cheat codes, A, B, and C, C is the most frequently asked question on the star test, okay? It's the most important of this of this grouping of, of these codes. So uh, we're gonna have two videos on on this cheat code. We're gonna have uh, the con vocabulary and concepts, and then we're gonna do two questions, and then the next video we're gonna do four more questions. No. Solve one step and two step problems using data from a frequency table. So this is so different because you're gonna have to take the table and then do math problems with that information. It's not just graphing or understanding the table, but now you're gonna to have to use the table. So, and it could be a table, dot, plot, bar, graph, stimuli, plot, like any of the, of the graphs. So let's review them. Data, this is all of this is data. So data is just a collection of facts, okay, as numbers. And then you represent that data with a bar graph or a dot plot, a scatter plot or, okay. Notice with these graphs, you're gonna compare your X value. So here, romance, types of movies, right? Romance, drama, sci-fi. And then the number of people that like those types of movies, right? So action is the second most popular to romance. So maybe there are more girls took this test or took that quiz, <laughs> answered this poll than boys, I don't know. A dot plot, similar to a bar graph, except you just have individual dots or Xs. Um, these are good for visuals. You can see like, oh, look, right? Nobody takes six or seven minutes to eat breakfast because it's, you know, and here's zero. Um, lots of people don't eat breakfast. And if you take zero minutes to eat breakfast, that means you're not eating breakfast. Ten, uh, a lot of people, the most people take 10 minutes to eat breakfast. Isn't that interesting? So anyway, that's, that's how you read. A, a dot plot or a line plot is it's just good for a quick visualization of a set of data. Scatter plot is going is discrete because there's no line connecting the dots. Okay, each each dot is ind independent, and a scatter plot is going to compare the x value to the y value. A scatter plot shows you trends. Notice that as you gain weight, as you get bigger in weight, you get taller in height. It shows you a trend, a general trend. Stem and leaf plot, uh, or stem and leaf table, stem and leaf chart. It will take a set of data, a set of numbers, and then it will break them up into, generally it's going to be where the tens place is in the stem, and then the leaf is the ones place. So notice we have five numbers that start with two. 21, 23, 23, 26, 26. And notice 21, 23, 23, 26, 26. So that's how we read or create a stem and leaf plot. And it shows you, it highlights in orange, 32. Notice how it's written, three, two. Okay. Here we go, two questions, and then our next video is gonna have four questions. The graph shows the number of garbage cans that were emptied in five neighborhoods. Okay. Garbage cans, 50, 100, 150, 200. So that means this is gonna be 25, 75, 125, 175. See, there's a pattern. You can't break that pattern. You, if you, once you start a pattern, you have to keep it with even integers, okay? Or the, the equal spacing in between your integers. Which statement is best supported by the graph? A total of 500 garbage cans were emptied in these five days. Total. So it's comparing all five days. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, those are the five neighborhoods. In these five neighborhoods, sorry. So let's add them together. 50, so that's R, uh, 175, Q, 150, Okay, 150p, 125, and then m is 75. Okay, so I'm gonna add them, I'm gonna pause the video, do this math, and then check it with me, okay? 5, 10, 15, carry my one. 
1, 8, uh, 10, 15, 22, and then 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, a total of 500 garbage cans. No, that's more than 500. Okay, that is more than 500. No, it's not. Ah, I'm sorry. I messed up. I didn't keep my place values in order. Again, I tell you guys, I'm not editing these mistakes out. I'm showing you what happens if you rush. Okay, 50. We have to keep the place values in the columns straight. Zero. Oh, man. Don't make that mistake. Slow down on your test. 5, 10, 15, carry my 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 7 is 13, plus 5 is 18, 20, 27. 2, 3, 4, 5, 575. A total of 500 garbage cans were emptied in five neighborhoods. No, it says 500, not 575. So it's, it's not, it's gotta be accurate. The combined number of garbage cans emptied in neighborhood M and neighborhood N is 50. More than, okay, this is a multi, multiple steps. So let's look at this. M and N is 75 plus 125. So that's 200. M plus N equals 200. M and N is 200. It's 50 more than the garbage cans emptied in neighborhood P. What is P? P is 150. Yeah, that's right. 200 minus 150 is 50. That is correct. Let's check. See, the difference between the greatest number of garbage cans emptied and the least number of garbage, can, garbage cans is 110. So the greatest is Q. Q is 175. Okay? Uh, Q is 175 minus the least is 50. Uh, 521. Uh, one. 125. No, that is... Is 110? No, it's 125. The combined, so that's adding, right? The combined number of garbage cans emptied in neighborhood P and neighborhood Q is 375, more than the number of garbage cans emptied in neighborhood R. Whoa. Combined between neighborhood P and Q. P and Q, that's 150 plus 175. So 150 plus 175. Five, twelve, three twenty-five. More than the emptied and no seventy because it's not even three seventy-five. So that's wrong. Answer is B. I just ran out of light, so we'll do the next video soon. Later, guys.